You're doing great. We're almost there. Just need you to be brave a little longer. Bring it to house. I got you, Anna. Where do they keep coming from? We gotta keep moving. We're gonna be fine. I've got you. You're doing great. Just a little further. Shit! Okay, they can take it from here. Let's go. We're escorting them, and that's final. Pearson's right, sir. If we go with them, chances are they'll draw fire. Seems like a risky move. Private Justman, we are clearing this street and then getting them out. Understood? I understand, sir. I just think they might be safer on their own. And if we let the Germans reoccupy this hotel, every squad that comes through here will be in danger. This isn't Kasserine. We have the upper hand. Now get them on the truck. It's your show. Defensive positions! We gotta clear the street! Lost the father. We in one in Breckenhagen. Yeah, I, I can fight. Come on! Look out! They shot up the truck. Erika, bitte, Erika, hör auf! She's gone. <laughs> Go on! Go! The hell are you doing? Following orders. Everyone back to the hotel. Move, move, move! Hey, there's nothing we can do. We secured Aachen. Opened a western corridor to the Rhine. But the rift between Turner and Pearson's growing wider. And it's not just our lives hanging in the balance. After Aachen, nothing's gonna be the same. But we finally got a foothold into Germany. The gateway to the Rhine is open and there's no turning back. For any of us. After Aachen, nothing. Your orders were to take the hotel, not evacuate civilians. Who decided this was a rescue op? We thought there was time, sir. Last time I checked, Turner was in charge, not you. Is he making the calls now? No, sir. It was my call. It's on me. It's on both of us. Yeah, well, right now, the last thing I should be worried about is if two of my best men can follow orders when we're on the verge of the biggest operation of the entire war. 
Let me remind you, this is the spearhead of our final drive to the Rhine. Got a whole damn forest to clear so the convoy can get through. So from this point on, I'll accept nothing less than your best. Now get your insubordinate asses ready to move out. It's been three weeks. We're in the Hurricane Forest now, clearing it so the convoy can get to the Rhine. I'm not proud to admit it's taken me this long to open your letter. If it's over, we're here for you, pal. I tried to warn you. College, let the man speak. She's pregnant. Whoa! <laughs> hey, that's huge! All right, Daniels is gonna be a daddy. Yeah. She was trying to let me know, but I wasn't ready to hear it. All right. I could use another cup of Joe. Come on, you mooks, let's give him some space. But I don't want coffee. Sure you do. I'm sorry I waited to tell you about the baby. I tried to the day you were shipping out, the day you took my picture. Everyone gather around. Where's Daniels? Davis is talking. Come on. <sighs> on my way. The Hurtkin is dark and nearly impenetrable. Our mission is to take Hill 493. Whoever holds the hill dominates the valley. Now, for lesser men, this task might seem insurmountable. But our division boasts a proud history of firsts. In World War I, we were first to hold off a German attack, first to launch a counteroffensive, first across the Rhine. Nothing has ever stopped us, and nothing ever will. Lieutenant, tell them what we're all about. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. I can't hear you. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. That's right. Now get ready to move out. Duty first. Back to the old meat grinder. Amen, brother. We move out in five. Hey, Daniels, can you do me a favor and bring some chow over to Willis? He's watching the perimeter. You got it. Much appreciated. He's overlooking the valley. Good morning, soldier. Morning. Compliments of the chef. Only the finest, eh? Thanks, buddy. How's it looking? See for yourself. Those guns aren't letting up. It's been non-stop. I heard you're hitting them today. That's the plan. Good luck out there. Thanks. Moving. <laughs> 